Mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin most Mary, with all the saints, Lord, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Joyful news of your resurrection was proclaimed by the angel to the women disciples, having thrown up the curse that fell on Adam. They ran elatedly to tell the apostles, Death has been vanquished, Christ our God is risen from the dead, blessing all the world with his great mercy. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. You were born of a virgin, and you endured crucifixion for us, good Lord. By your death, you divested death of spoils. You displayed resurrection as God. Please do not despise us, the work of your hands. Demonstrate your loving kindness, O merciful Master. Defer to your mother the Theotokos when she intercedes on our behalf. And save us, your people, in despair, O Savior. Let us pray for us. Help us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, that the Most holy Theotokos, save us. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life. To Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Looking up at the entrance to the sepulchre, then unable to endure the angel's radiance, the murmuring women were frightened and perplexed. They said, Has he been stolen? Who opened paradise to the robber? Has he arisen? Who before his passion announced his rising? Indeed, Christ has truly risen. Granting life and resurrection to those in the nether world. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. By your voluntary will, O Savior, you endured the Holy Cross in a new tomb. Mortal men buried your body, O Lord, who by a word had created the universe. Death, the ancient foe, was restrained by you and forcefully deprived of the spoils it had and all the souls in Hades sang and glorified your resurrection which you have given them life Christ the giver of life has risen and he abides forever revealed through you to us on earth was the mystery that was hidden from ages and unknown by the angels God became incarnate uniting natures without confusion and for us he voluntarily accepted crucifixion through which he resurrected the first for man and has saved our souls from death you rose as immortal savior from the nether world and with yourself you also raised your world by your resurrection O christ our god mightily you shattered the power of death O master Merciful Lord, you should to all the resurrection. Therefore we glorify you, only benevolent God. Na, na, na. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From exalted heights above, Gabriel came down to earth, and he sat upon the rock, where in the rock of life had lain, arrayed in white, he cried out to the weeping women. Women, even though you were emotional, you no longer need to lament and mourn, no weeping for you. For the one you are seeking has truly risen, so go, be of good cheer. And go and tell it to his apostles that the Lord has truly risen. Put now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O pure virgin, all the hosts of angels were amazed at the awesome mystery of your pregnancy and birth. How he Symbol, command holds all things together, is held in your embrace as a mortal babe. The pre-eternal word accepts an origin, and he is nursed who nourishes the whole world. It is ineffable kindness, and they extol you and glorify you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the hosts of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You 
O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself. And from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you make all the ornaments with your tears of pity? O women disciples, thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior. They heard a voice of the angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lays for a scarf? He has risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you. on us and protect us, O God, by your grace, commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Lord, and the Virgin Mary, who is all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. Blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women hurried to declare the matter of your paradoxal rising to your apostles, O Christ, that you rose as God and granted to the world great mercy. From my youth many passions war against me O oh, my Savior, implore you, uphold me and save me You who hate Zion, be shamed by the Lord For you will be withered like grass in the fire Glory 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, every soul is animated. And when purified, it is mystically uplifted and brightened by the triune Godhead. I have cried to you, O Lord, from the depth of my soul with fervor. Let your divine ears be attentive to me. Everyone who has their hope in the Lord is higher than anything that could sadden them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit the streams of grace well forth. They water all creation, so that life be engendered. Let my heart be lifted up to you, O Lord, God, and none of the words of light will entice me to be earthly-minded. Whereas one has filled all a filial affection for his mother, for the Lord we ought to have a love even more fervent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the wealth of knowledge of God, contemplation, and deep wisdom. For in the Logos discloses all the dogmas of the Father. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. O God, we have heard with our ears. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. And in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, holy the Virgin Theotokos Mary, save with all the us. saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls. And to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. He who saved and rescued me has resurrected from the tomb and bonds of death those born on earth for he is God. He smashed the gates of the netherworld, and on the third day he rose as the Lord of all. On the third day he rose as the Lord of all. Christ is the giver of life. He rose from the dead and the tomb on the third day. He smashed the gates of death with his might today. He neutralized Hades and crushed the sting of death, and he freed Adam and Eve. Let all of us born on earth earnestly sing and praise him with gratitude, for he is our one and mighty God, and, he, and on the third day he rose as the Lord of all. On the third day he rose as the Lord of all. In the height of self-control, the Lord has placed you as a true unerring star, illuminating all the earth and also guiding us to the light. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. You have rendered yourself God's true abode, O oh Father, by your divine virtue, adorning it with, lu with, lucid with, with lucidly, adorning it lucidly as with gold that glitters from afar. You set forth faith, hope, and true charity as divine axioms. As with angelic self-control, you practice prudence, courage, and temperance. You acquired humility by which you were exalted. Hence, you were enlightened by prayer, unfailing, 
and you attain the and you attain the mansions of heaven. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. On April 14th, we commemorate the holy apostles of the 70, Aristarchos, Pudens, and Trophimos. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Ardalion the Mime. On this day, we also commemorate the holy woman martyr Tomias. On this day was the contest and martyrdom of the holy neo martyr Demetrios of Peloponnesos, who was from Ligudista Trifilia and who died by the sword in Tripoli in the year 1803. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we commemorate our devout Father John, author of the latter. John, who was dead in the flesh while living, ever lives while appearing to be dead and not breathing. He left us his book, The Ladder for Ascending, and shows us the way of his ascent to heaven. By his intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her feast with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily lauding her miracles. Establish your servants who exalt you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual part for you, the living and abundant found. And graciously in your divine memory give glorious crowns to them. When the prophet Habakkuk heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the Virgin, O Most High, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your strength, O Lord my God. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually Godly minded believers come and celebrate this sacred and venerable feast and thus extol the Theotokos and clap our hands and glorify our God who was truly born of her. Godly minded, three did not adorn creation, things in the Creator said. Rather disdaining the threat of fire, they trampled it and joyfully they sang, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord of God, of the fathers you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace, the son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. O oh, all you works of the Lord to all ages, Sing praises to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you, O Lord God, are holy and who rest among the saints. And to you we give glory, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. That we may 
be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. To the close of the age, Amen. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. If you are our God, apart from you we know no other, we call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his holy resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. On us, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sin my mother's bore me. For behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with this up, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to me. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would give it. You would not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. They sacrificed to God as a broken spirit. God will not despise a broken and contrite heart. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. And you will please be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and full burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Open 
upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgressions when I ponder in my wretchedness on the any terrible things that I have done, I tremble for that fearful day, the day of judgment, but trusting in the mercy of your compassion. Like David, I cry to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to people and bless your inheritance look upon your world with mercy and compassion raise the orthodox christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady the theotokos and ever virgin mary the power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner john the baptist the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the great, Gregory the theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasio, Cyril, and John the merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimithus, the wonder workers, the holy glorious great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, Demetrius the merced streamer, Theodore the recruit, 
Theodore the commander, Minas the wonder worker, Haral and Bos and Eleftherios, the Hiero martyrs, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, the glorious great martyr, no laudable Ephthemia, the holy glorious martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, of St. John of the Ladder, and St. Aristarchus, and all those whom we commemorate on this day, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, Hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Through the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Theotokos and Mother of Life, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has shown strength in his arms, he scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Mm. Ken doxotera na sincritos ton serafim, tina diaphoros te on logon te kusan, tinon tos te otokon se megalinomen. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has insulted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he sent away and he. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped, he has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. All you born on earth, with festival lamps in hand, in spirit leap for joy. And all you the heavenly angelic orders join in and celebrate. 
and honoring the sacred wonders of the Mother of God, sing a joyful salutation, O oh, rejoice, Theotokos, so bless ever virgin pure. Oh, Let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, the save with us. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you. And to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet. For he is his holy. Let us in faith now join the Lord's disciples on the mountain. In Galilee, and we shall see Christ saying he was given All authority both on high and below we shall hear him Teach how to baptize nations all In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, and say he always is with believers to the close of the age as he promised. You spurned the comforts of the world as being the sources of distress. The flesh you withered by fasting, devout one thus renewing. The vim and vigor of the soul, O Father ever memorable, and you became exceeding rich in heavenly glory, and therefore cease not interceding for us. O Lady, we confess that you are Theotokos, literally, through you we have our salvation, for you ineffably gave birth to God, who neutralized the force of death by being crucified. Thus he attracted though to himself the companies of devout monks, whom who we laud you, O Virgin. Yeah. 
mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. O Christ our Savior, by your cross, guide us through your truth and deliver us from the snares of the foe. Since you have risen from the dead, reach out your hand and raise us who have fallen to sin. O benevolent Lord, at the intercession of your saints. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre, never parting from the Father's bosom. Only begotten Logos of God, you came to earth for the sake of humanity. And without change became man, and in the flesh you endured the cross and death, remaining impassable in divinity, as the only and almighty Lord. You rose from the dead, and you granted immortality to the human race. Now I Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with the strings and flutes. Holy Father John, as one devout the exaltations of God, were at all times the property of your throat in very truth. As you studied and practiced well, the God-inspired sayings of the one all-wise, you were... You were enriched in your holy soul by the divine grace, well-being, welling from them, and, and becoming blessed in you fully destroyed the malice purposes of all impious men. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Holy Father John, most glorious, you shed a wellspring of tears, and you saw thus was purified. You propitiated God by your standing in the prayer all night. Thus given wings, you ascended to his love and to his beauty, all blessed as you are. Which now you worthily are enjoying endlessly as you rejoice with the fellow athlete mon so godly minded saint. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his holy one. Holy Father John, as one devout when you had lifted your mind. Unto God on the wings of faith you despise the turbulence of the world and its transience. And on your shoulders you took up your cross 
and followed after the Lord who sees all things. Then the unruly flesh you subordinated to your pious thought through ascetic exercise by the divine spirit's might. Ananus, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come, let us
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercies and upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord. Son and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. in the whole world for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all let us pray Lord, to the Lord have mercy. for this holy house and for those who entered with faith reverence in the fear of God let us pray Lord, to the Lord have mercy. for our Archbishop Nathaniel the honorable presbyters the deacons and the servants of Christ and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president and all those in public service, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and town, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth in peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
poor travelers by land, sea, and air for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the faithful, who save your soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. I shall praise the Lord in my life. I shall sing to my God while I live. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord, his cause. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations.
αγαθός και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός υπάρχεις και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Let the heaven and earth praise Him. The joyful news of your resurrection was proclaimed by the angel to the women disciples, having thrown off the curse that fell on Adam. They ran elatedly to tell the apostles, Death has been vanquished, Christ our God is risen from the dead, blessing all the world with his great mercy. Wisdom arise. was proclaimed by the angel to the women disciples, having thrown off the curse that fell on Adam. They ran elatedly to tell the apostles, Death has been vanquished, Christ our God is risen from the dead, blessing all the world with his great mercy.
For you, O oh God, are holy, and to you we give glory, the Father, and the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. When God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves in all their disputes. An oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope that is set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Peace be to you, the reader. Peace be with you. 
reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, a man came to Jesus, kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy. And he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood, and it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it. For he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days he will rise. Peace be to you. Good morning. When uh, President Dada and I were living in Boston, Massachusetts, we had the pleasure of having President Dada's little brother live in Boston too. But my brother-in-law lived in this teeny, tiny, rundown apartment where he paid the landlord cash, but in the coolest neighborhood ever. We were amazed when we learned the location of this apartment in the fabulous North End of Boston. The North End is the oldest section of Boston, and within it are Paul Revere's house, the old Copps Hill burial ground, and the old North Church. My brother-in-law, although he loves American history and is very proud of his country, uh, can even uh, 
being the sons of the American Revolution on both sides of his family, had no idea what was the meaning of the thick red painted line on the sidewalk that crossed right outside his front door. Literally, literally at his doorstep, this thick red line makes about a two and a half mile loop around Boston. And in a couple of spots, here's a hint, is painted red, white, and blue. This red line led, led about four million tourists right past his very front door every year. To my and Presbyteta's uh, anguished astonishment, he didn't know, after he had lived there for about nine months, the meaning of this red line painted on the sidewalk at his doorstep. Sometimes, as we read the Bible or experience things within the divine liturgy, we don't realize their significance. We have the richest tradition, but yet we don't take the time to understand it. Sometimes there are highly important things right at our doorstep leading us to something critically important, yet we don't take the time to learn more. Sometimes there are things in the church or in the Bible that if we truly understand them, we would better understand our relationship with God the church, and what we are doing at Divine Liturgy. Today's epistle lesson is from the epistle to the Hebrews. The epistle to the Hebrews is read every Saturday and Sunday in Lent and Advent. It holds a very prominent position in the Orthodox Christian lectionary, or the, the scheduled readings that we do every year. It leads us to something of the highest importance. Today, in the epistle to the Hebrews, we heard about the priesthood of Melchizedek. At the end of, the epistle, of today's epistle lesson, it reads this, Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Who is Melchizedek? Here is a mysterious figure in, from Genesis chapter 14. Mel, Melchizedek means in Hebrew, king of righteousness. He is said to be king of Salem, which is the older name for Jerusalem. In Genesis chapter 14, Melchizedek suddenly appears without explanation after Abraham wins a battle. Melchizedek brings out not a lamb or other animals as an offering, but a sacrifice of bread and wine. Bread and wine. Melchizedek then blesses Abraham, showing that Mel Melchizedek's superiority over Abraham. Then Abraham gives Melchizedek a tithe, one-tenth of his possessions, again, again showing that Melchizedek is superior to Abraham. This little paragraph in Genesis chapter 14 is filled with meaning. It is highly important. Although for centuries, people didn't know what it meant. For centuries. People didn't know what it was leading to. But in the epistle to the Hebrews, especially chapters 6 through 8, and within the context of our Orthodox liturgy, we learn the meaning. And we're even reminded on the icon of the bishop's chair about the high priesthood of Christ. Melchizedek is a prefiguration, a hint of what is to come in Christ. Christ is, according to the epistle to the Hebrews, our high priest forever. He is our high priest, not according to the old Levitical priesthood that has passed away, but after the order of Melchizedek 
the king of righteousness, the king of Jerusalem, who offers not animals, but himself in the form of bread and wine. As we, re- as we read today in the epistle, Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Jesus is a forerunner, a prothromos, in today's lesson, leading us to heaven. We read from the epistle to the Hebrews in Advent. We read from it in in Advent and again in Lent and again and again every Saturday and Sunday because it describes how Christ is our high priest. He offers himself as a perfect sacrifice once and for all to lead us to heaven. The new temple is not in Jerusalem but in our hearts where this high priest is wishes to dwell. This high priest offers himself once and for all for the remission of sins. He offers himself to dwell in his new temples, our hearts, through the bread and wine, his own body and blood. By reading the epistle to the Hebrews in our services, as well as taking in the rich meaning, which is just at our doorsteps here at the church, We are led to the thing of the highest importance, the death and resurrection of Christ. The the self-sacrifice of our high priest and forerunner who wants to lead us to freedom in heaven. But let's make an effort to understand the line that leads us there. If you haven't figured it out, the red line on the sidewalk outside the doorstep of my brother-in-law's apartment in Boston was the Freedom Trail. The Freedom Trail. The Freedom Trail leads about 4 million tourists every year to many of Boston's important historical sites. The Old North Church, Paul Revere's house, the site of the Boston Massacre, Faneuil Hall, Bunker Hill, etc., Although my brother-in-law didn't really understand everything, of course, he still benefited. He still benefited from being there in the heart of Boston. But the Freedom Trail that is right at our doorstep is our path through Lent to the high priest's once and for all sacrifice and resurrection. This freedom trail leads us to our high priest's once and for all sacrifice on Holy Thursday. This freedom trail leads us to our resurrected high priest who offers himself to us in the bread and wine, his own body and blood, according to the order of the priesthood of Melchizedek. Although we may not understand everything at our doorstep, Let's try. Let's strive. We will benefit even if we don't make all the connections, but let's strive to learn more, not only intellectually, but more importantly, in our hearts. This Lent and Holy Week, let's read, learn, and contemplate Christ's holy high priesthood according to the order of Melchizedek. Let's take the time to read especially Hebrews chapter 6 through 8 to understand this better. Hebrews 6 through 8. But even more importantly, let's experience it. Let's experience it at the services of Lent and Holy Week. Let's follow the freedom trail set before us, leading us to his life-giving sacrifice according to the order of Melchizedek. Let us follow the freedom trail to his life-giving resurrection as we learn, grow, and even partake of the offering of our high priest. Amen. Amen.
that's ever guarded by your might, we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
and unto ages of ages. And to our souls and for peace in the world let us ask the Lord for the completion of our lives in peace and repentance let us ask the Lord for a Christian and to our life peace for without shame and suffering and for a good copy for the dread judgment seat of Christ let us ask Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, and your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, the God to the Father before all ages, light to light, to God to God, the God to not created, but one that is the Father, through whom all things are made, for us and for our salvation. Get out from heaven and receive. 
Let us stand well, let us stand in fear, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, our sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you all. glorify you, the only true God, and to offer to you this spiritual worship with a contrite heart and humble spirit. For you have given us to know your truth. Who is worthy to praise your mighty acts, or to make known all your praises, or tell of all your wonderful deeds at all times? Master of all things, Lord of heaven and of earth, and a very creature, visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of glory, and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invis invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal, revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light. Through him, the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification. For all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, and with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and re ever-resounding cymbals. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and singing. But you did not forever reject your creature whom you made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands. But because of you, your tender compassion, you visited him in your various ways. You sent forth prophets, before mighty works, by your saints, and every, who in every generation have pleased you. You spoke to us by the mouth of your servants, the prophets, announcing to us the salvation for which was to come. You gave us the law to help us. You appointed angels as guardians, and when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your Son himself, through whom you created the ages. He, being the splendor of your glory and the image of your being, upholding all things by the power, word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God and Father, but being God before all ages, he appeared on earth and lived with humankind. Becoming incarnate of your, from a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, 
conforming to the body of our lowliness, that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world and through sin death, it pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation. Releasing us from the delusions of idolatry, he guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself as his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Spirit, he gave himself as ransom to death in which we are held captive, sold under sin. Descending to Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to this resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever-memorable, and life-giving death, on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure hands, and presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering thanks, blessings, sanctifying, and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. This remembrance of me. And for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension to heaven and throne at the right hand, God and Father, and his glorious, awesome second coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Therefore, most holy Master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly bestowed on us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us, upon these gifts you presented, to bless, sanctify, and make Bless, Master, the holy bread. This bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless, Master, the holy cup. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless, Master, the holy gifts. Shed for the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 Amen.
blessed and glorious lady, the Delta Cross and ever Virgin Mary. upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O Lord, our God, all those whom we have not remember, remembered through ignorance, forgiveness, or because of their, their multitude, since you know the name of each and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. Deliver this community in every city, O Lord, in every city and town, from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Nathaniel, grant him to holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. from these gifts presented because of my sins. Remember, O Lord, the presbyters of Yaki and Christ, very order of the clergy, and do not confound any of us who stand about your holy table. Visit us with your goodness, Lord. Manifest yourself to us through your rich compassion. Grant us seasonal weather and a fruitful season. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness. Prevent schism in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen. Sp quickly stop the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given, you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercy 
mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirits. Lord, have mercy. us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Βασιλεία και δύναμη και δόξα του Πατρό και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματο νυν και αή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. to your every good work and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed to get the holy, good, and life-creating Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people.
morning, kids. Okay, so today, today we have a different kind of sermon. So all the kids, you are going to stand up, okay? Everybody stand up and you guys move back from here. All the kids line up right here in front of the first step, okay? Line up side by side, all the way around the first step. Okay? And you can go on the sides too if you need more space. No, not on the step, in front of the step. Okay? And look at, look at the altar. Go around, keep going, right next to one another. Keep going. Come on up, right? Yep, right in front, right in front of the step. Julian, go over here next to your sister. All of you, go. You can go around on that side too. Everybody, go around on that side, and on that side. Is everybody in front of the step? Is everybody? Come on. Come on over here, kids. Come on over here with me. Okay, let's go around right in front. Stand up close, right there. Put your face this way. Very good. Very good. Just like that. And you guys step back, like I said. Hey, ultra boys, move away. <laughs> Is everybody in front of the step? Like your toes have to touch the front step. Come right in front. Right in front. But don't step up. Don't step up. Okay. Are you right in front of it? But not on it. Not on it. Oop, take your foot down. Very good. Okay. Now. Now. I want to tell you a story. Pay very close attention very close attention to me. I want to tell you a story. A long, 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 long time ago, about 1,300 years ago, there was a monk whose name was John. What was his name? John. John lived in a place called Sinai. Can you say Sinai? Sinai. And he was a monk. And he was really super, super smart. Like he learned a lot of languages. And he learned everything about the Bible. And he learned everything that the fathers and mothers of the church told us. Yes, he was reading everything. He was super smart. In fact, he was so smart that people called him the scholar. You know what a scholar is? Somebody who goes to school a lot. Yeah. Somebody who goes to school a lot is a scholar. And he knows a lot of stuff. And one time, John, step down. Very good. One time, one of his friends asked him, one of his friends asked him to write a little lesson to all of the other monks, so all the monks can become holier and closer to Jesus. And he wrote a book, a very short book, which he called The Ladder. You know what a ladder is? What's a ladder? No, step down. What's a ladder? What do you use a ladder for? Silas. To climb up high. So, you see these lights over here? You see these lights? Can you light that oil lamp without a ladder? Can you do that, Natalia? No, you cannot. Zoe, can you light it? You can't reach it, so what do you need? You need a ladder. So, St. John decided to write a book that's going to tell people how to get up closer to Jesus by doing some things that feel like a ladder. Does that make sense? Kind of. Maybe not, right? Because it's hard to climb up all the way to heaven. 
But we can get closer to God when we do some things that really make us holier. Okay? So, what's one really good thing that Jesus likes when we do? Is Jesus happy that you came to church this morning? Yes. And did all of you come to church this morning? Yes. Good. That means you have, you can step up on the first step. Step up. Okay, just on the first one. Not the second one. Step up. You're in church. Step up on the first step. Let me see. Very good. Get up. Right up on the first step. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Now, what's another thing that Jesus wants us to do so we can get closer to Him? Is praying at home one thing? Philip, did you do your prayers yesterday? You did. You did too? What about you? You did too? Do you guys pray at home? You pray at home at night and in the morning? And before you eat, you do? You promise that you do? Because I can't check that, right? I keep attendance, you know, Father Jason and I, we have a long book and we have all of your names. So when you're in church, we put a check mark. But at home, I cannot put a check mark if you did your prayers. But I will believe you. Okay, now you can step up on the second step, but only the second step, okay? Okay, what's another thing that Jesus wants us to do so we can get closer to Him? Yes. To listen? <laughs> Maybe that's your parents. But you should listen to your parents. That's great. And yes, you should listen to Jesus too. How about helping other people? Does Jesus want you to give from the food you have to people who don't have food? Do you have only one uh, dress, Zoe? No, do you have only one pair of shoes? You have many pairs of shoes. Do you, your dad has a lot of shoes? Okay. Your mom doesn't have a lot of shoes, right? No, okay, yeah. Do you have a lot of shoes at home? Your dad has a lot of shoes, yeah. Something's happening here. Something doesn't charge. Kids, Jesus wants us to give from the things we have because we have more than we need. Yup. If you have a lot of shoes or a lot of pants or a lot of dresses or a lot of shirts, you probably aren't even wearing many of them. We should probably give some to other people. Step up on the next step. Everybody get up right here. Everybody up, 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 up on top. Now, are you closer to Jesus? Come on up. You are? How do you know? You climbed up those, but look up there. Who's there? Oh, and look at that. Three steps closer. And throughout our lives, we're going to learn from St. John. There are 30 different steps that he told us about to get closer to Jesus. Are you going to read St. John's book called The Ladder when you grow up? I didn't, not all of you said yes. You did? Are you going to read it, Julian? You are? Are you going to? This is going to be your homework. When you turn 15 years old, write it down. Pay attention. When you are 15 years old, I am going to ask you if you read the book by St. John called The Ladder. It's actually short. You promise you're going to read it? What? You don't want to read it? Okay then, you go down one step. Oh, are you going to read the book? Yes, very good. God bless you kids. Now let's get ready for communion. Listen to the ushers where to go. Okay? This one worked better than I thought. <clears throat> the 
Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. him all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. For he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven.
has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him, praise the Lord. Mercy and your 
Son for dominion of the day, Alleluia, for His mercy endureth forever, Alleluia, the moon and the stars for dominion of the night, Taken a divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, the com for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Master of all, that the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ may become for us a faith unashamed, love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the healing of soul and body, repelling every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and acceptable defense before the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ our God, you accept this rational and bloodless sacrifice as a sacrifice of praise and pleasing worship. 
You are the Lamb and Son of God who take away the sin of the world, the blameless young bull that does not accept the yoke of sin, and who were offered for us of your own will. You are broken but not divided, eaten but never depleted, and you sanctify those who eat you. Indeed, you made us partakers of your holy body and precious blood, this ineffable, heavenly, and awesome sacrament in remembrance of your voluntary passion and life-giving resurrection on the third day. Preserve us in your holiness as your servants, those who minister, who govern faithfully, who serve in the armed forces and the people here in attendance. And grant us to meditate on your righteousness at all times and in every season, so that guided to your will and doing what is pleasing to you, we may become worthy to stand at your right hand when you come to judge the living and the dead. Rescue our brethren who are captives, visit those who are ill, pilot, travelers who are in danger, and give rest to the souls of all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the eternal life, where the light of your face shines and hear the prayers of all who need your help. For you are the giver of good things, and we offer up glory to you and your Father, who is without beginning, and your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Spirits of the righteous, perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants, keeping them in the blessed life which is from you, O loving one. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. You are our God who descended into Hades and loosened the pains of those who were held captive. Grant rest also, Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Spirit's spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the souls of the departed servants of God, Christos, Rena, Peter, and Catherine, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God grant that their soul rest where the righteous repose. Let us ask Christ, our mortal King and God, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trample upon death and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the souls of departed servants, Christos, Rina, Peter, Catherine, and Yanis, in a place of light. 
in a place of green pasture, in a place of re refreshment, from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone without sin, your righteous everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, life before you fired servants of Christ our God, and you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. and love for mankind always not forever and to the ages of ages Amen. glory to you, our god and glory to you may he who rose from the dead christ our true god through the intercession of all pure and all immaculate holy mother the power of the fresh life giving cross the protection of the honorable by his powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet before John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, holy glorious triumph of martyrs, our righteous and God bearing fathers, our father and saints, Bees the great archer of Caesarea and Cappadocia, the heaven revealer of the holy righteous and the Lord Joachim and Anna, of uh, Saint John, author of the latter. And the holy apostles among the 70 Aristarchos, Prudence, and Trophimus, whose memories are current today, and of all the saints of mercy, as a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers, holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Trinity guide to protect all of you. Please be seated. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for, for joining us uh, today. Uh, Father Tim had to kind of leave right after the liturgy was done, uh, going over to St. Mary's Romanian Church uh, for a big event that they have there. Um, and we should always reciprocate, you know, Father um, Mircha, as many of you know, he especially helps sometimes with our, our youth ministries, has been very good to us for many years, uh, helping us with a number of, of projects and, and ministries. So a couple of uh, announcements. Um, uh, first of all, I, I regret to say um, the passing of Yanni Kaznisis, uh, memory eternal. Uh, we will probably have the funeral, not the Monday, but the Monday afterwards. 
Today we have the Vespers, the Pan-Orthodox Vespers of, of Contrition that we do during Sundays of Lent. And this time, St. Mary's, is, our St. Mary's, is hosting it at 5 o'clock. Please join us for the Vespers of Contrition, followed by um, uh, a, a meal together. Uh, there's a number of announcements uh, regarding Holy Week, um, the Holy Friday retreat that's coming up. Uh, you can read all about that in your, the nice bulletin we have here. And also another thing that's coming up this week, besides the services, uh, please remember um, we have our, gen- our spring general assembly. That's Sunday, you know, next Sunday, the 21st. Uh, please join us. Um, so having said that, uh, God bless you all. Please come forth for the Andithron. <laughs>